the students of the Calvary School of Arts and Trades. This is your teacher, John Sandiman Ursulum, a senior high school PE teacher. Are you ready to learn about folk dance? I know that this is the most awaited part of our subject. I will give you new learnings and discussion. So sit back, listen, and relax, for we are about to begin our fun and exciting class today. So after watching our online video lesson, you are expected to 1. Know the meaning of folk dance 2. Identify the classification of folk dance 3. Discuss the background and the context of the dance Lapay Batike and the 4th, perform the dance competencies of Lapay Batike properly. Before we really start our discussion, let me ask you if you have prior knowledge about folk dance. Hurry up! Tell me your guess right now. Amazing! That's great! Our topic is very easy for you today. For your activity, I will show you a picture. All you have to do is to share your idea about the picture. Okay, what can you say about this picture? Very good. Dance or dancing is said to be a stress reliever. Do you agree? Right. It is also a form of exercise that will help boost the immune system through cardio exercise. In the form of Zumba, Hip Hop Aero, and dance aerobics. Many of these dances come in different forms and nature. And one of these is ethnic or folk dance. In this episode, you will learn one dance of the K-12 curriculum in Health Optimizing Physical Education 12, which is Folk Dance. A folk dance is a dance developed by people that reflects the life of the people of a certain country or a region. Which is passing years Customs and beliefs of groups of people get built little by little slowly with time forming into traditions. Folk dances represents one of the strongest ways to showcase the traditions of every region in every country. Even though Many traditional dances bear the name of ethnic dance. Not all of them remain folk dances, but all of them try to emphasize the cultural roots of the particular dance. In this sense, nearly all folk dances are ethnic ones. Do you know any kind of Philippine folk dances? That's great! Now, these are the examples of the Philippine folk dancing. Carinosa, Binasuan, Sayaw sa Bangko, and many more. The history of the Philippine folk dance incorporates influences from the immigrants, while at the same time, maintaining disciplined Filipino roots. Philippine folk dancing is a true reflection of daily life in the past centuries, while enhancing modern influences at the same time. Now, we are going to enumerate the classifications of Philippine folk dances. First, 
is the occupational tense. This tense depicts actions of a particular occupation. For example, planting, panding, and fishing. Second, religious ceremonials. It is associated with religion, vows, and ceremonies. For example, Dugsu and Suwa Suwa. Third, comic dances. This dance depicts fine movements for entertainment. For example, Kinotan and Makongo. Fourth, game dances. It is done with play elements. For example, Lubi Lubi and Pavo. Fifth, wedding dances. This dance is performed during wedding feast. For example, Panasahan. Sixth, courtship dances. This kind of dance depicts the act of courtship. For example, Tadek and Pantomina. 7. Festival dances. These dances are suitable for special occasions. For example, Pandango and Habanera. In the last classification is war dances. It shows imagery combat. For example, Sagayan and Palo Palo. You already know the eight classifications of folk dance. I hope you all remember this classification. And now, I will show you sample video of Philippine folk dance. And guess what the title of a dance and what classification it belongs.
Can you guess what is the title of a dance? That's right. The title of a dance is Lapay Bantige. Can you tell me what classification it belongs? Great. It belongs to the comic mimetic classification of folk dance. The kind of Philippine folk dance that you're going to learn today is entitled Lapay Bantige. Lapay Bantige, it means seagulls of Bantige Islands, Masbate, where it originated from. Like many small islands, Bantige of Masbate rely on the sea to supply fish to great parts of the bigger region. Each dawn, Bantige village awaits the arrival of boats with their catch. Gather on the beach with the people, thousands of lapai or seagulls flying overhead or moving around the sand and seashore. People form their attention to the lapai, showing them or imitating their flight. This playful frolicking started the first step of an dance. Lapay Bantige Dance Music was brought in later to land order and form For the costume, female wears bottle for the top and saya for the skirt with over skirt copies for the male costume, camisa de chini for the top and colored pace and punts, rolled out just below the knee. The male and the female should dance in barefoot. Now, you are already know the history in the costume being worn in Lapay Bantige. Are you ready to learn the basic steps? Okay. Let's begin the first feature. It's called Lupad. Flutter your arms gracefully and step sideways for 16 counts. After this, face your partner and do this step again for 16 counts. Like this. Feature number one. Let's proceed to the second figure, and it's called Kumintang. Raise your right arm and do a horizontal thumbs up. Rotate your hand and raise four counts clockwise, and another four counts counterclockwise. While doing this, your partner will go around you while doing the lupad figure. After completing each of the four counts, you and your partner will change positions, meaning your partner will do the same kumintang and you will dance around him. Let's do this. Figure number two. For figure number three, the steps called tuka. While facing your partner, place the back of your palm on your forehead and do a pecking motion with your back bend. Do this for eight counts. Then, while still doing this step, go opposite ways. Example, you are going to the front and your partner going to the back. Do this for four times. Figure number three.
For figure 4, you and your partner should bend and face opposite directions while stamping for 8 counts. Then, raise your arms while twirling to your face your partner. Do this for 4 times. This is how you execute it. Figure number 4 For figure 5, move your arms in front of you up and down for 16 counts. Then, jump lightly in front of your partner and move your arms up and down in synchronization. Do this for 16 counts too. Let's do this. Figure number 5 For the last figure, figure number 6, flutter your arms gracefully and step sideways for 16 counts. After this, face your partner and do this step again for 16 counts. Let's do this. Figure number 6. You have already learned the history and the figures of the dance La Pai Bantige. Now, it's your time to shine because you are going to create your own video of La Pai Bantige and submit it to me for your performance task. That's it for your health optimizing physical education 12. I hope you learn a lot and remember everything in our new lesson today. Just keep discovering new things and continue learning in our new normal way of learning. This is your teacher Jafet Ursulom saying keep safe and mabuhay.